Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm one of the librarians with Lone Star College North Harris. In today's Making Zines episode, we're going to be looking at the different methods for binding zines. Our first type of binding is the pamphlet stitch binding, which goes down the center of the spine. We'll need a few different supplies in order to get started. So we'll need the pages for your zine, like these here, or you can just use some blank pages. We'll need some kind of cover stock if you're going to actually make a cover for this project, but you don't have to. You'll need some basic supplies like a ruler, scissors, pencil. You're also going to need some kind of sharp object to punch your holes through. So I like using either a large safety pen or even a push pen like this here. You might need some binder clips in order to hold the pages together. And you'll need a needle that's big enough for your thread to actually go through. So you can use any kind of actual string, but I like using embroidery floss because it's thick, it's very strong, comes in a wide variety of colors, and it's relatively inexpensive. Now that we have our supplies, let's get started with the pamphlet stitch. The pamphlet stitch is a simple binding that goes down through the middle of your book or your zine. So we'll be able to see those stitches coming right down through the center pages of the material here. And then we'll also see them on the spine of the book. For our pamphlet stitch, first thing we're going to use is the pages for our zine. So first, gather the number of pages that you like. If you already have your zine pages done, then you already have what you're working with. I'm going to gather a few pages here. Okay, and so we want to straighten our edges, and we're going to fold that over. So, in elementary school fashion, it's hamburger style. And we're going to fold that right on in. So one trick in order to get a nice smooth edge is to actually use a pencil or another hard object and push down on that fold. That's going to give us a very clean fold. Okay, so I've got my pages ready. If I'm going to add a cover, then I can use a piece of cardstock like I have here. And we're just going to fold that cover in half just like we did our pages. Same thing, line up the edges and then press down in the middle to create that fold. We're gonna go ahead and put our pages inside of our cover. We're gonna line it up best we can. And we're gonna open up our pages to the middle. So that very center page that we first did. And we should see that crease line right down the center. Next thing we need to do is to actually measure where we're going to put our holes down the center. So for that, we're going to grab our ruler. And you can use any ruler that you have. We're going to line it up right on the crease in the middle of the page. So we're going to put the edge of our ruler right against that crease. So my pages are eight and a half by 11. So they're eight and a half inches long. So I wanna first find the center, which for me is gonna be at four and a quarter. So I mark that dot first. Now we're gonna work down from that particular dot and up from that particular dot. So we're gonna go up an inch and a half. And we're gonna make that mark. And then we're gonna go up one more inch and a half for our top dot. And we're gonna go back down the middle and do the same thing down. So, one inch and a half down, make our mark, and another inch and a half down for our final. We should have five dots going right down the center. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now that we have our holes marked, we're going to have to make our holes. So here's where we're going to use the sharp pointy object, so either a safety pen or a push pen. I'm going to try getting started with the push pen, I'm going to make my center dot first. So you can either try pushing down through the pages, but if you have a few pages, it's going to be a little difficult to punch through this way. I like to kind of carefully hold it and then poke my hole on through. And go down and poke each of those holes through. Once 
once we have our holes punched, we're gonna notice that they're pretty small. So now we're gonna see if we can't make them a little larger to make our sewing step a little easier. So I'm gonna try using my safety pen and I'm gonna kind of wallow out each of those holes a little. So I'm just kind of wiggle around the safety pen and each of those holes. Then one final step to make sure it's the right size, I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna pull my needle through each of the holes. And this is just a good way to make sure that you can actually sew it on the next step. It'll make it much easier, trust me. Okay, and now our holes are much better size and we're ready to actually stitch it together. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our stringer thread. As I mentioned, I'm using embroidery floss. And we're gonna cut a piece that's gonna be three times the length of our spine. So it can be rough, so just kind of a best estimate above it. So there's three lengths, and we're gonna cut that off. Next, we're gonna have to thread the needle. This part can be tricky especially if you have a thicker piece of thread and a thinner needle. So try your best to go ahead and push it through the eye. Once we get our needle threaded, we're just gonna pull that thread through and just leave a couple of inches hanging at the end of our needle and kind of push it behind it. We don't wanna tie a knot or anything. Okay, so we're gonna start our sewing by going through the center hole. So first, just make sure my pages are still lined up kind of stick my needle in and just check, yep, my holes are still there. Okay, so we're actually gonna start stitching from the outside. So we're gonna go down through the outside and we're gonna pull that thread through, leaving a couple of inches behind us as our tail. So we're gonna keep about two or three inches left right there. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and work our stitch up. So we're gonna go down through that upper hole and pull that thread tight. Then we're going to go down on the other side now and come back up through to the middle of the book and the top hole. Pull that tight. You can see that loop there. Now we're going to come back through that hole that we just were in before and go back down through the middle. Pull that stitch tight. Make sure our tail's not in the way. Pull that over there. We're actually going to skip the middle hole and go down to the second from the bottom. So the one right past the middle. We're going to come down with that stitch. And pull the tail if it gets any stuck. We're going to keep going down just like we did before. So down to the top hole. Come back up. So we're gonna go back through that stitch we were in before. So come up through there into the middle of the book. Keep our pesky tail out of the way. Pull that tight. Okay, and then we can see we're gonna finish our last stitch and go back down through that middle stitch of the page. That finishes our stitching. So we see those stitches right there, and we're back up through the middle. We've got all the stitching on the back. Okay, so now we have our two ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and knot my thread first. And I can do that by going right through that little middle loop that I have running along the back of the edge. And don't pull all the way through. Instead, I'm gonna come back and run back up through my loop and pull that tight. And that's gonna knot that right in place for me. I'm gonna do it one more time just to be sure that I'm not gonna move around. Definitely not as good and tight. Okay, now I can go ahead and pull my needle off. 
And you can either choose to just knot the two ends together, so the tail and your main piece, or if you like, you can make a little decorative feature, so you can either cut the tails right there, right at your knot, but I like to give it a little bit of a bow at the end, just to make sure that it looks kind of even. So I can cut them right there. I'm just going to tie a little simple bow just for decoration and then make my ends even. Now we have our pamphlet stitch, which is the easiest of the stitched bindings. So right down through the middle. <laughs> 